We begin our show tonight remembering a woman who died in St. Paul. She was a pillar in the community. Her family a staple at the farmer's market in that city. Police say Pua Tau Hang died on Sunday when a stolen car rammed into the vehicle she was riding in. Officers are still looking for several suspects who they say ran from the scene of the crash that night. Jennifer Hoff is on the show tonight with more on the investigation and more on the impact Ms. Hang had on our community. Jen. Deanna, this is a really sad story. The interim police chief telling me tonight that the department has since reconstructed the crash scene, collected DNA, and is now combing through a lot of videos. There's a lot of evidence there. And I asked him if he's confident if they will solve this case as the Hang family spoke out about the woman who they call their matriarch for the first time. The family of Puatau Hang gathered at the Capitol Wednesday, their grief palpable at the press conference they held three days after the 70-year-old died in a hit-and-run crash. Pua embodied and believed in human goodness, and I personally know this to be true. Minnesota senior judge Gail Cheng Bohr considered Hang a sister who she's known for 30 years. And like her family, I am devastated pleading with the public for help in a case that's rocked a community. This is a very tragic incident, and it's unacceptable. The St. Paul Interim Police Chief says Hang's car was hit Sunday night by an SUV stolen out of Minneapolis about dinner time. Other drivers reported it speeding and driving recklessly before the crash at this intersection just east of Highway 61, where a small memorial now sits blowing in the wind. It's not just losing a member of our community. Uh, we lost a member of our family. The city's mayor reflecting even on Hang fondly, saying her family welcomed him into theirs 20 years ago. To say that uh, Mrs. Hang was an incredible individual would be an understatement. Anybody who spent time at the St. Paul Farmer's Market could see that in the joy that she put into the produce uh, that she shared in those spaces. Mayor Carter putting his faith in the police to solve this crime that despite witness interviews, DNA samples and video evidence, the chief says there's no solid suspect description, only that more than one was seen running from the SUV. Our St. Paul Police Department is as good as it, anyone in the nation, anyone on the planet, at holding accountable those who are responsible for violence in our community. We take all deaths all death investigations extremely seriously. Uh, we are working round the clock on this case, just like we do with the others that we investigate. As the investigation continues, a family is left to mourn the woman they call their matriarch, who had a zest for life that was taken too soon. Poor Tao Hang was a singular most important person in our lives. The light has gone out of our world. The light has gone out in our world. And there's this too. Hang's husband was driving the car that they were both in. We were told that he was hurt, but we found out today, in fact, he fainted when he found out that his wife had passed. He is now at home recovering. While police are asking for more tips from people, business owners, if you have a ring camera, anything to help them try to solve this case, you can call their traf traffic safety unit at 651-266-5656. Of course, that's a a lot of numbers, Jana, to remember, we will get this story online and include that information there as well. Well, I'm glad that we finally got to know a little bit about her. Her friend described her as a person who embodied human goodness. So I certainly hope if anyone can help solve this crime, appeal to that part of them, that human goodness, to, to say something. We need some more of that goodness in this world right now, I think. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yep.